Hey guys, it's Chris, Gear North the Shaving Cadre. How you doing today? It's Monday. Blessed day of all blessed days. Well, maybe for me, but last day of my weekend. So here for the shave. Let's get going. Oh, doggies whining at the door. Just me by myself with the doggies this morning. Everybody's back to school today. So our new doggy, the uh, Datsun, the wiener dog, is a little bit apprehensive. She likes having people around. She's had people around for the last week and a half that we've had her. And now there's nobody except for me. She's uh, got a lot of anxiety. Hopefully we can work through that. So I'm going to be using my Yucky, what they call the brown synthetic, but with rainbow handle, but I just prefer to call it the rainbow. The Yucky brown synthetic just sounds kind of blah. Using a new to me soap. I've never used this company before. Declaration Grooming. This is after the rain. I've been using a number of new to me things over the last week. Great experience. Yeah, it was about 10 seconds, something like that. We'll see how that does. Like I said, never used this soap before. Seems like a pretty good load of these, these bristles. It's a little hard to, to tell. Just like it is sometimes with the lighter bristles, how much you're loading. This particular brush I've used once before, once or twice, in the last week. And it does a really good job of mimicking gel tips, More like a badger or something. This is super soft feel on the face. Still does a good job with the lather. Definitely need more water here. Interesting scent. I get the, I get where you can see this is rain. Nice cleansing rain. A little bit of green. DG is one of those artisans that gets a lot of good press. The lather's working up all right. It's taking a lot of water. This is usually not a bad thing. Still kind of thick. There, see what we get. That's what it looks like in the brush. Surprisingly, there's enough for like three or four more passes in there. Doesn't look like it, but uh, Yaki makes some really good synthetic brushes. Haven't tried their badgers yet, which I hear good things about. But all right, so the first two passes Feather SS with the Pro Blade in there. Pretty smooth. Some errands to run today. I get to the post office, drop off. A box of goodies for the shaving yeti. We won the PIF yesterday afternoon on the TSC. The uh, 
kind of a part two of Mr. Doug's fifth. I uh, I won that one, and Fox arrived last week, and I promised I'd make a selection. And oops, I just have a little nick there, and pass off some of the things, and that's what I'm doing. Yeah, but it's been nice trying different stuff. I tried some sterling soaps, finally. I had a sample, a big sample of those before. It was a sterling mountain man. It was kind of crumbly and um, hard to lather off of because it was all broken up. So, These were that I got were full size tubs. I got Christmas memories, and um, the one I tried was, uh, how was it? oh, agar, sterling agar. Great soap. I can see why, at least the base, I can see why some folks at TSC consider it, and other places consider it to be a Good baseline soap for how a artisan soap should perform. It's nice and slick. Checked the boxes decently. I don't know if I'd go elite, but it was pretty darn good. And the value is certainly there. Sterling is very accessible and they give you a lot of soap for your money. Haven't tried, well, I've tried their aftershaves. Actually, I've tried aftershaves and EDTs now. Aftershaves are always pretty well scented, at least the ones I've tried. And I've tried one of their EDTs, Glastonbury, and it's pretty nice. Long lasting, strong. I think that's what you can count on for sterling is just good value software for the money. I got to try one of their uh, synthetic brushes too, the two band synthetic. It's a 24 millimeter. I compare it more closely instead of the Yaki, I compare it more with the uh, Razor Rock Plisoft. It's a very similar feel, whereas the Yaki is in general much softer, softer, and they usually set their knots a little deeper. <clears throat> Still feels good on the face. Yeah, it's a little bleeder there. I think I caught a follicle. Went a little too much, too uh, horizontal with the blade. It happens, not often, but it happens. I'm approaching my 400th open blade shave, accumulatively. <clears throat> so, so far the soap is performing really well. The uh, little nick there certainly was not the fault of the soap. That was user error. I've been switching around razors a lot over the last week or so. And 
sure that has plenty to do with it. <clears throat> Get that cleaned off. Another new to me item, I've used it once or twice though already, is the Schick L. Nice, mild, mild razor. It'd be good for this last pass, especially since I've cut myself already. Um, probably very similar to the M adjustable on setting two, something like that. But of course, this is not adjustable. You gotta learn to be more like rich with my injector strokes. He just does like, he doesn't do much um, <clears throat> repetition of strokes like I do. He just does nice, long, steady strokes. If I do that, I don't seem to get everything though, for some reason. So I often do three pass shaves and with some touch up. Just for the level of shave that I want, seems to be necessary. I mean, I always get a good shave. <clears throat> I say as I'm bleeding on the lip. <laughs> Not gonna push it too much today. But I do want a reasonably close shave. Injectors are just too easy. Too easy to get a good shave. <clears throat> All right. Let's see the damage here. Yeah, just a little neck there. That's being stubborn. I think I forgot my Allen block. Anyway. Not bad overall. Got a little extra cleanup here. DG seems to be a pretty decent performer for its first outing with me. Nice thick lather. Um, residual is pretty good with some water added. You know, all these um, artisan soaps for the most part, ones that get a lot of press, like DG and Grooming Department and Sterling and CBL and stuff like that. There are a lot of subtle differences. So that what's really good for somebody all comes down to preference. What makes someone's top list might make someone else's third or fourth or fifth place and vice versa. One's third or fourth or fifth place might make the top of the list somewhere else. Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Thanks for hanging out a quick second. Ended up running to go get my Allen block. Um, did a nice cold water rinse off of the rest of the lather off my face. Still weeping a little bit. Um, 
do the allen block left it on for 30 seconds another cold rinse put on some of that generic witch hazel essential shave item i listed in my five four three two one video if you haven't caught that should be the one on the list right before this one on my videos it looks like it's not gonna stop oh far that was some thayers i just put on right there another nice witch hazel oh, i got some spike i got it right there happened to bring it in not knowing i was going to cut myself but just because it nice fresh scent actually matches the soap really well which in a little bit more reflection here is kind of a green woodsy scent it's not mentholated but it has the smell almost like it could be not synthetic like um vix or anything but it has kind of a minty um after scent lingering scent uh that's along with the woods kind of lingering in the background it's really nice unique something different than though anything else i have i got my uh 10 ounce spray of <clears throat> 10 ounce no 10 milliliter <laughs> 10 ounces of um Guerlain vetiver and put that on today some on the wrist here got a, should have a bottle of that coming in pretty soon yeah it's still going all right that's it for the day off to go do those chores visit a couple places this morning and then hopefully chill out for the afternoon and evening um Having a nice quiet day here. It's Monday. Hope you're having a good Monday too, whether you're at work or at home. Um, you can visit us at theshavingcadre.com online. Nice online forum full of very friendly folks. We are on the upwards approach to 300 members. You can help make that happen if you're not a member yet. Um, we do a lot of shaving journals over there. A lot of videos like this one. Uh, a lot of us have done that 54321 challenge that was kicked off by a gentleman in another place called Elmer Fudd. And you can see all those online if you look them up on the tube or uh, see ours on the TSC. And join us. Have some fun. Some fun banter. We'll talk to you later. Have a great week, guys. Bye.